What is up YouTube? Welcome back. It's your buddy Technobot and in today's video I'm going to show you my crazy desktop setup which is right there you can see. Now why did I call it crazy because of the speakers. You can see that I'm not going to talk about the main thing, the computer. Um, that's a, a i5 uh, gaming computer. Well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the speakers. Yeah, that's why I call it crazy because you can see that's a 32 inch LED monitor right there and this thing is surrounded by the speakers you can see so many speakers are there you can see from top to bottom and from this side to that side so many speakers are there and here I have uh, 5.1 and also 2.1 and also this mini soundbar right there you can see so uh, let's start with the big one so that's the big one that's the Yamaha AV receiver it's a 5.1 uh, computer with uh, Dolby Audio and DTS digital surround and uh, all the stuff and this thing is connected to the speakers you can see at the one pioneer that that's the left that's the center and that's the right one so these are the three front speakers and at the back you can see that's a small one that's the surround left and here there, that's the surround right so that's the one the number one that's the 5.1 well now second is right here that's also 5.1 it's uh, Philips uh, SPA 8000B that thing also has the Dolby PL2 effects that's a nice thing I like that so that's a 5.1 and that's a 5.1 these two 5.1s are there and these are the speakers for the Philips left the center and the right and you can see the surrounds are there at the bottom and I was using them before but now I have disconnected them uh, from the surround channels of the main unit and I have connected uh, this two that's the one I told you about it's connected to Yamaha and also with the Philips and that's the right one the same so they are connected through the switches right there uh, I have a dedicated video on this thing how to connect uh, one pair of speakers to two separate amplifiers so that's the point I pressed the switches down and uh, and the Philips starts working the surrounds and, and when they are off the Yamaha uh, starts working the surrounds so that's it and uh, now after that I have another Philips you can see that's a very nice one I don't remember the model number of this thing but definitely I'm gonna put the link of this thing in the description below that's 2.1 and very nice one and you can see that's a uh, 360 degree rotating volume control knob so it has a full function remote control so you can either control the volume from here or from the remote so that's the nice thing and uh, that's the channel of it the right one and that's the left one they look very beautiful and also the sound is very nice I must say the sound is very nice and after that you can see that's the Logitech Z337 and that's the side of uh, the main unit that's the port right there and it's tied to the stand on the other side of this table uh, just like this so that's the one and the speakers are there that's the right one and uh, that's the left one and this is the control pod for this thing this thing sounds very nice too but the base of uh, Logitech is uh, not that much great it uh, sounds muddier as I told you before alright so that's the fourth one that's the yeah I had to turn on the flash and that's a 
logitech i told you about and uh, that's the fourth one and now the fifth one that's the fnd f203g it's a 2.1 uh, speakers and the uh, subwoofer at the bottom the driver and that's the port and that's a big volume control knob you can see and the bass control knob is at the back of this thing and these are the speakers the right one and here the left one so that's it uh, this FND sounds uh, very good too but uh, the highs are kind of very thin and uh, how to say the frequencies are a bit of uh, higher than the other uh, home theaters channels but for the price that's very nice too so that's that was the fifth one and now the final one is this the red dragon mini soundbar it's uh, usb powered and this thing has a headphone socket and also a mic socket uh, right there so this is a nice thing and it can be separated uh, from there you can see so you can use this as a stereo speaker you can keep them outside of the monitor or TV whatever or you can use just like this as a soundbar so as this is the USB part so nice thing about this speaker is this thing has an auto switch right there with the volume control here you can hear the tick noise that's the noise you can see the red light is there and also at the speakers you can see so that's a nice thing and uh, all right so that's it and uh, now all these things they are connected to PC but PC has one port as you know the audio out uh, 3.5 m socket but I have connected all of them right here to this thing you can see one is there and another one is right there so all the sockets are connected and you just need to give it one input and you can use the other sockets as the output so you can connect as much as the speakers you want so uh, this is a very nice thing and also let me tell you that there will not be any issue with the sound quality the sound quality is gonna stay the same but there will be a little bit of issue with the volume level because you know uh, the input has a very minimum voltage millivolt and all these wires are connected so the voltage is traveling to all these wires so the output would be a bit less so you need to increase the volume a bit more than the usual so that's it there is no problem and all home theater sounds great and uh, so that's it and that's my crazy desktop setup and later I'm gonna give you a demo all the speakers together and you're gonna see how the sounds all together so that's it that's uh, all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye